Hey yo, what's up guys? This is Akupero. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Yeah, so as you can see guys, um this is uh we are going to be looking at uh four pairs this week. You understand? So as you can see, this is our uh, volatility 75. So as you can see right there, this is a double top. This is a double top right there. So as you can see, we are expecting the market to go down. You understand? But um, I mean, uh, the main issue is how can you enter a trade? This is what we are going to be looking at today. How can you identify your entries? You understand? So as you can see, let's start from this uh this area here. So as you can see, this market was sitting at this level. At this level, you understand? So at this point now, we are we don't know where the market is going. So we have to wait for this trend line to break. You understand? So we have to wait for this trend line to break. Then and read this. You can see that retest right there. And retest to this level. Then before we can uh, have enough confidence to sell all the way to here you understand so this is how you identify your entries but sometimes the market does not treat us how are you going to do it you understand so let me show you guys how you're going to do um deal with a uh, market that does not treat us because i know some of you have been facing similar problem that will make you to be jumping from one strategy to another <laughs> if you are trading break and retest a break and retest is very very simple and very very accurate to use very very simple to use you understand break and retest so as you can see right here now yeah the market broke it did not retest how are you going to do about it so now this is for our time frame once you spot this opportunity in four hour time frame you must first thing you must identify is check the candlestick uh the last candlestick that broke you can see it is a very powerful and very very um big momentum power a bullish candle the bullish candle the momentum is very very high you understand so simple wait for it a four hour candle this four hour candle to close like this then you go to your you go to your five minutes time frame yeah five minutes time frame you go to your five minutes time frame right here so as you can see right here now you there's a consolidation right here there's a consolidation right there guys this is how you're going to deal with market that does not read this because not every time that uh all the market will read this you understand so once you have identified this there must be a um there must be a this kind of uh consolidation right here you understand there must be this kind of consolidation right here so after that you wait for a breakout you wait for a breakout wait for a breakout at this level then after this breakout you just buy took your sell and uh, took your buy uh open your buy position right there you understand then put your stop loss below here just put your stop loss below here guys you understand so just took your buy here to put your stop loss below so you know the market will go up you understand so this is how you deal with market that does not retest this is how you do it market that does not treat us guys you understand so yeah let's go back to forward time frame so right there the market went up there you can see this level now that's uh the market there's there's um the very back there's a rejection there there's a, a little pullback because this level is it's a very very sensitive area and i said so there's a pullback there it gets up onto this level this level here before going up and so finally it's get to this point creating a double top right there so now the market is going down so this is what you are going to be expecting you bring out your trend line again and i say bring out your trend line again you wait for this breakout you wait for it to break out you understand so this is how you you this is how you wait for the market let me just is this 
Yeah, you wait for these breakouts right there. Oh, let's just go to our 30 minutes time frame. Yeah. You wait for the market to break this level. You understand? So uh the market will surely get to this to this level right here. Let's say yeah, this level. The market to get to this level. Get here. Then go back again to retest this level. Then finally go down up until this level. You understand? So why am I expecting the market to get go up uh, to reach up until this level? Because this is where the trend line reversed. I mean the moving average. This is 21 moving average line. So if you still need the setting, I will show you guys this is the setting. This is 21 simple moving average. You understand? So the market I'm expecting the market to go to, to go up on this level. So before then, if you go here and retest, then I can sell it. You understand? So I can sell it. You understand? So yeah, so this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for <laughs> right here. So yeah. So this is all about volatility 75. So let's go to another index. This is volatility 75x. Volatility 75x, guys. So right here, right here, we are waiting for the market to go up onto this level. Up onto this level right here. This level right here before going down or breakouts can happen. Either go down or a breakout can happen. So this is what you're gonna do. Uh, if you trust this back, you will see that this this market have been doing something for a very long time now. You understand? The market have been doing this setting. You look for a potential entry. You don't just enter the market. You understand? You look for a potential entry. You understand? So right there, the market broke this up onto that level then went down you understand okay let's say you meet you miss this sniper entry so this is what you're gonna do again you're gonna draw a trend line in line with this moving average make sure you see it is in line with this moving average this moving average will help you identify we have to draw your trend line you understand so make sure it is in line with this moving average so this is what you're gonna do you go to your 30 minutes time frame you go to your 30 minutes time frame right here uh, where is it let's go to our time frame yeah right here 30 minutes time frame should be somewhere here should be somewhere here After this breakout, there should be a trend line here and this level right here. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, let's use one hour. Really? Then that should be somewhere here, yeah. So well, we have to go to our 30 minutes time frame. We have to go to our 30 minutes time frame, yeah. Where is it here? So as you can see, let's say let's say you miss this entry. Let's say you miss this entry right here, this one. Let's say you miss this one. This is a head and a shoulder, a head and a shoulder right there. 
so let's say it means that one then you wait for the market to break this trend line and break this here you understand so you sell from there you understand so after that you sell from there so if it still trades this market now like if you can't take a trade in 30 minutes time frame you can also draw your trend line again here just like this you wait for the first leg your trend line uh should be valid whenever i have uh more than two touches you understand so once you see the market returns back to this level to this trend line um to this moving average you understand then go up again to retest this uh trend line you draw your you draw this your down trend line this way then wait for it to break you understand once it break and to retest this level you go to your Okay, let's say 50 base time frame. Let's say you have a smaller account, you understand? So for your stop loss to be very, very tight. So this is what you're going to do. Uh, this is what you're going to do. Can I use it? Oh. Can't find it, guys. <laughs> can't find it. Can't find it. Can't find it. Okay, first one. Second one. Oh, guys, I can't find it. So, well, you can still see it on on thirty minutes time frame. You understand? You can also see it on thirty minutes time frame clearly. So. Now, as you can see, you can see after that, after this breakout right there, the market went up and retest this trend line again. You understand? And retest this trend line again <laughs> before going down. So after this rejection, you see this rejection right here. That is rejection. You took your sell trade, put your stop loss uh, below, uh, above here. You understand? You put your stop loss above there. Then you can put your TP. Uh, at, at any previous support level either here 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 or here you understand so that's how you trace your tp so after that you can see you can see this is how you enter your trade very very peaceful uh, uh you have very peace of mind entering trade this way uh, yeah so yeah now let's go to a four, four hour time frame so as you can see right here now this is also the same thing uh okay i just explain this one this is also the same thing that happened here so as you can see the market went up there to retest this level from where it broke out from from this broke out spot right here you can see after this breakout you can see the market went up and retest this level you understand you can see that rejection right there Say shooting star right there. So after that, you can see the bucket went down. You understand? So, but this is for our time frame. If you have a smaller account, you can't enter a trade in this uh bigger time frame like this one. So what you're gonna do, you just go to your 30 minutes uh yeah, go to your 30 minutes time frame also. Go to your 30 minutes time frame. Now you see it right there. So what you're gonna do. You draw your trend line. You draw your trend line this way. Make sure it's in line with this moving average. You draw your trend line this way. You can see. You draw it where you have more touches. You understand? So now you wait for the market. The market is still at this level. And I said, so you wait for a breakout. You wait for a breakout. And they read this. I said, you wait for a breakout right there. Then, and they read this. You understand? So after that, retest, you see this bearish candle. After that bearish candle, you took your cell. Put your stop loss above there. And I said, you put your stop loss above there. So after that, you can see, making all this. You understand? 
So now we are going to look at the current market, what the market is doing currently. So the market broke, broke out from that spot, then it's going up there again to the test. Understand? It's going up there again to the test. If you, this small, this small dodgy candle that happened here, it is a retest. If you go to your smaller time frame, it is a retest, guys. So as you can see, after that breakout, you can see it's a retest. So this is what I said about a uh, consolidation. Although the retest is not clear is in four hour time frame, but it is a consolidation right here understand so once the market is consolidating this way you just wait for it to break out understand after this breakout right here just make it clear yeah you can see you wait for it to break out then after it break out it broke out there you check your cell understand? then put your stop loss above there understand so after that you can see the market went down you understand so yeah now we are waiting for the bucket to go up so we will be expecting buying 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 and i said so now what are we going to do how are we going to enter a buy trade right here you go to your 30 minutes time frame also then you draw your chain line you see how where this market broke out from right here so you trace it with your rectangular line this way you can use it this way understand so you wait for the market to come on onto this level so that we get to this level and you just sit here yeah if you get to that level then returns back it returns back to this level then before going up understand so this is what you are expecting we are expecting the market to reach this level you understand so after reaching to that level the market will go down up onto this level then before going up here you understand so this is what we are looking for this are uh, volatility uh 75 minutes so this is how you're gonna be in taking your entries once the market get to this level you will still draw your trend line like this one like this one you still draw a trend line down there you understand then wait for a breakout after a breakout there will be a retest and after retest check your buy strategy you understand so just um watch this video uh consistently like watch it for a very long time so that you can be able to understand what i'm explaining here this is very very important this in this way when you're trading this way you will be making a lot of money and you will be getting nice nice opportunities nice nice opportunities nice entries you understand even though you are new to trading with this uh kind of um strategy you'll be uh you will understand how to trade there's no there's no even currency pairs you can use this opportunity to trade currency pairs peace of mind you understand because it, uh, i started from currency pairs that's where i got the knowledge of trending this uh, volatility index you understand so with this uh, kind of opportunity break and retest when trend line uh, rejection you'll be making a lot of money you understand so yeah so i don't want to make this video to be too long so let's go to volatility 100 so yeah this is volatility 100 what is volatility 100 doing sitting at resistance zone this is resistance zone right there this is a resistance zone this is where the market is and we're gonna draw a trend line this way this way understand we're gonna draw a trend line what this way then wait for the market because you always wait for the market understand so we don't chase the market we wait for it to clear out so you go to your 30 minutes time frame you see what the market is doing right there so the market we are waiting for it to break out we are waiting for it to break out to that uh, resistant level right there 
of our time frame. So we are going to wait for it to break out. So before you can do anything, we have to wait for it to break out. Understand? So yeah. Now, now we're going to just draw a trend line this way. Draw a trend line this way. see that our trend like got broken right there you understand it got broken now this is why your market is uh, like your uh, the market always stop you out you understand this is why the market always stop you out now you can see the market broke from this trend line and broke this uh, support level here you understand so now what you are waiting for, let's say the market is here. What you are waiting for, you are waiting for the market to go up onto this level and the retest to this level, then before going down. You understand? So the market went there, there is no rejection right there. There is no rejection, you understand? So once you didn't see any rejection, you don't have any reason to take a trade. There is no reason for you to take a trade because there is no what? There is no rejection. You understand? So the market went up. Then came down and give you that rejection you are looking for here give you the rejection here at this support level in line with this uh support level right there so now this is where you identify that this market the momentum is too high like this is a fake out like if you um if you're a trader that always trade uh breakout with traders, once you take a sell here you will be in profit but at a sudden the market will go against you let me repeat again. Once you see the market broke up onto this level, you wait for a rejection right here. A rejection right here. This kind of rejection. This kind of rejection. You will see it right here. Understand? It will throw a pin. It will throw some pin like this kind of thing. Understand? It will throw a pin here. Then after that, you have enough confidence, confidence to sell. But if you don't see something like that, you just be looking at the market, be looking at what the market is doing. You understand? So now the market will go up and retest up onto this uh, support zone. This resistance zone not onto a support zone. So now you see this rejection. After this rejection, you buy. You understand? So after this rejection, you buy. So this is how this market goes. You understand? So if you are not very, very careful, and if you are not very very uh, disciplined on this you're going to lose a lot of money on this so you have to be disciplined and know what the market is doing know where the market is going know what the market is going to do in the future knowing all this you'll be making a lot of money consistently in this market you understand so now this market is going up so now we are not doing anything you understand you are not doing anything right here so all you're going to do wait for a breakout at that upper side understand or the market can even get up to up onto this level then go down again you understand once the market go down again it will come and retest to this level because this level is very very um it's very, very strong zone because it have supported here resist uh, supported here supported here so once we break it will resist there then you look for that rejection you understand you look for that rejection then before you can be able to sell but if it broke uh, at, at that resistance level, if it broke out there, so you also wait for it to retest. You will also wait for it to retest uh, daily time frame. Yeah, if it broke out from this level right here, you wait for it to retest before you buy. You understand? So yeah, this is what you are looking for. Make sure you watch this video very very carefully because this video is very very important. Like. This is how you can be able to know how to take your trade, how to take your entries, sniper entries. Um, yeah, this is how you do it. So let's go to our volatility 100s. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I took a trade right there. So now this is this is why I took a trade here. Understand. Let me show you guys. 
sorry. Oh, sorry guys, let me just... Uh, let me show you guys. Uh, okay, let's go to our weekly time frame. Let's go to our weekly time frame. <laughs> okay, let's go to our daily time frame. Yeah, this is our daily time frame right here. So as you can see right here, the market is sitting at where a resistance um a resistance zone right there. I mean a support zone, I mean to say. So now we are expecting the market to go up. We are expecting the market to go up. You understand? So because it resisted there and it went up. So it resist it's supporting there and it went up. Now it's supporting again and, and it is going up. You understand? So now this is what you do. You go to your forward time frame. You go to your forward time frame. You draw a trend line this way. You draw a trend line this way. Now you see that the market, the market went uh, and broke this trend line. You understand? It broke this trend line. Now it is it went to retest this trend line. Then after that it is going up. You understand? So now it is going up. So we are expecting the market to go up onto this level. Up onto this level. You understand? So after you go to this level, it will break this level and it will retest it before going up. You understand? So but if it did not go down go that way it will break this level it will break this level it will break down you understand so and retest back to this level and retest back to this level it will break retest back to this level then it will take a sign you understand so this is what we are expecting right here this is what we are expecting but I'm hoping the market is going to go up you know why because in this 30 minutes time frame again if you draw a trend line you also see that break and retest you also see that break and retest right there this is the break and retest I, I always uh, tell you guys that you must look at the retest at, at a support zone that place the market broke out from is that that place the market broke out from that trend line you understand you trace that area you trace that area then that's where the market will likely to retest that's at that spot the market broke out can see this is the first touch this is the second touch then the third touch the market broke out now it returns back now it formed a dodgy candle in 30 minutes time frame you understand it formed a dodgy candle so, so now I'm expecting the market to go up up until this level. You understand? So this is for it for this lesson. So I hope you guys understand the way you can be able to enter your entries. So it's very very important you guys know how to enter your entries. So it's very very important. You understand? So yeah, this is Akupero signing out. If you are new to my channel, can you subscribe to my channel and turn off the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. You understand so yeah um yeah goodbye guys and uh, remember bless god bless you all